All right, let's get down to the facts. This is um, pre-calculus 5.4. I forgot for a second. We're going to learn today about graphing tangents. We're going to do example one today, example two and three tomorrow, and then we'll go on and so on. Here for tangent graphs, I don't know if you remember, I have these pictures on my Instagram. You can go a year back into it. And there is you, you know, posing for these graphs. These were the tangent graphs. Here, they don't have these steps on your book, but if you just make sure you zoom in, yeah, if you can zoom in or screenshot it, that'll be a great help to you. Y equals A tangent BX. A is the uh, amplitude up and down. That's not really an amplitude. Um, we kind of focus on it, but kind of not really. Tangent, it's just the tangent. Um, B is affecting the period, and X is just whatever the degree is. First thing, you find your period, I, uh, radians divided by B. If you don't like radians also, you could just convert everything to degrees. Radians means 180, so it'll be 180 divided by B, and you'll have 180 divided by 2B, etc., etc. So you don't have to follow this if you don't like it. So now, find your period. You find your asymptotes, that means you're starting and you're ending. So where the dotted lines are, that's your starting point, your ending point. So to find that, it's negative um, radians 2b, 2 radians 2b, so negative and positive. You'll have it here, you'll divide into two parts because now you want to solve for this, uh, one half of it and for the other half. And then you're going to multiply by 2, and then after that you're going to have these three sets of coordinates, your negative with your negative um, a, 0, 0, and then positive a. So we're going to do example 1. So y equals 2 tangent x. First thing, you find your period. So it's 180, or it's radians divided by b. b in this case is a number right here. It's just a 1, so there's nothing really there. So that means we have our period of 180. But keep in mind, for tangent graphs, they start at negative um, 90 and 90. Second one, negative 2b, 2, positive 2b. So you're dividing. Um, and you're multiplying. So B would be 1 again, so it's a number right here. So then I would end up with um, negative radians over 2, 2 negative radians or positive radians over 2. That's where I'm going to draw my dotted line. That's my start and finish line. So negative um, 2 radians over 2, that's my first line. Radians over 2, that's my second line. I have it there. Third one, we're going to cut that in half because now we need to draw one half of the the shape and the other half. So now you divide it by 2, so you multiply by 1 half. So when you have that, you have negative radians over 4 and positive radians over 4. So there's only 2. Instead of the sine and cosine ones, you do it by 4 parts. This is just 2 parts. Last one, you have your 2, all uh, your 3 coordinates. Your first one is always whatever you got from step 3. So this is going to be your x coordinates, and your y coordinate is considered your a from the beginning of the problem. So here, you're starting with the negatives. Here we have negative radians over 4. It's your first one, comma, negative 2. So it's your negative A. Then you have your coordinates, 0, 0. Then your next one is your other one from uh, step 3. So it's radians over 4. And it's your positive solution here, which is just normal 2. Just regular A. Now when you graph that all, you get negative radians over 4, which is here, with 2, negative 2. You have 0, 0, and you have radians over 4, 2. You end up drawing an a, not an asymptote, sorry, just a regular tangent graph. And then you have that. And to repeat the pattern, you can just go ahead and add some more. I think 1 is fine. Next one, we have y equals negative tangent x. So first thing, find your period. Uh, it's radians divided by 1 because the uh, period is 1. There's no number there. 2, you divide it to 2, so negative radians over 2 times b. So then your answer for this would be negative radians over 2 and radians over 2. That means you draw your dotted line on those two parts. Next one, you go ahead and divide those two into two parts. So multiply by 1 half and again negative radians over 4, positive radians over 4. Here is where it's going to be different. So everything was just about the same here. There's no difference in period, and that's why it's very similar. Here, our A is considered negative 1. Here, it says you have to make your um, A negative. 
we have negative radians over 4. So that's just for my first example, this one right here. And then we have negative a. So for here, it will be a negative, negative a. This turns into a positive a. So negative radians over 4 is going to be positive 1. Second one, 0, 0, 0, 0. And third one, radians over 4, positive. It's going to be your positive a, which is basically your answer from your original a, which is negative 1. So it will be radians over 4 and negative 1. And then tomorrow we're going to learn about cotangent and cotangent. It looks like a tangent, just flip the other way. That's why these two graphs are different. So normally they look like this, example 1, with the little shift in it. So tomorrow we're learning about the phase shift. So it's going to be adding 45 degrees, subtracting 45 degrees. Very simple, just go step by step. Make sure you screenshot that one side over there with all the steps right there. If you have any more questions, make sure you go in the drop down box. Uh, my system is now different. You're going to have homework. You're going to have lesson homework, lesson homework, lesson homework, lesson homework, Monday through Thursday. And then Friday, you're going to have a quiz, just like everyone else. The quiz is an actual test grade, so make sure you're working diligently on those. Have a good day.